Hey guys, somebody on the Discord was asking me how they could improve their typing speed to be more efficient and I told them about this tool called typing.io and that's something I used when I was uh, trying to improve my typing. It's very lean towards programmers but you can still use it for non-programming related stuff so just go to typing.io, the link is in the description and then sign in with Google and then you're just gonna get uh, some uh, options here. Let's pick Git. Again, it's very geared towards programmers, but you could upload uh, custom files. So let's pick this shell git and then you have your prompt here. You start typing out and then if you enter something wrong, you're going to get the wrong cursor there. But you can fix that. And then bam, I'm going to just type out this. Remote. So basically you're typing out code. So and you can see there's lots of characters, so you actually have to look up stuff and so on. Um, so one thing that's nice when you type out code is you have to type a lot of different characters. So you definitely will touch a lot of the different keys on your keyboard and um, eventually you will memorize all of the locations or muscle memorize. You might not be able to pinpoint where they are on the keyboard, but your fingers can move to them. So I don't remember where most keys are. I like to think that I do remember it, but uh, Instead, it's more of my fingers remember it. So if I just put my hands on keyboards I've used a lot, my fingers will just move and I will be able to type anything I want without looking at the keyboard. I'm not, if you haven't noticed it, I'm not even looking one time down on the keyboard. Have you noticed that? So that's one of the really nice things you get used to when uh, touch typing becomes normal, never having to look down. Isn't that nice? So we're almost at the end here at this. Oops, I made a mistake. Let me correct that. Back up and bam. So I entered all of that and uh, now we get the lesson summary. It gives us the typable characters, 233 characters, that was a lot. And uh, how many uh, characters we typed. So we had a few incorrect ones. So three, whoa, that's actually not bad. Uh, I think it was a white space a couple of times. Collateral type before backspacing. I guess that's how many mistakes you added additional. I don't know. And productive keystroke over at 2%, elapsed time on 55, and then you get the heat map. So here you can see, uh, you unfortunately have to upgrade to see everything, but uh, it will at least give you uh, the opportunity to practice in the free plan. So that's uh, the tool I recommend. Uh, there are probably open source versions of this. I can look up and see if I found something and do another video on that. So check out typing.io. And uh, the best thing you can do to uh, get used to touch typing is just doing it. And yeah, so I hope that helped you. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.